Hi guys, I'm outside right now, as you can see by my bug. <laughs> I wanted to um, record the intro to this video by my bug because I've been meaning to do a video about how I painted it and the process and what I used and such. Okay guys, a voiceover Julie is here to accompany you in this journey of how I painted my 2005 Volkswagen Beetle bug. I'm going to fill you in on what I used to prep, paint, and finish this bad boy in the whole process. So I'm also going to give you tips on what not to do because there's a lot of stuff I did that I wish I would have known better. Yeah, I definitely half-assed a few things. I had <laughs> a goal in mind to get this done in one summer, and I did. I got all this stuff done that you guys will see. So I'm still working on it, and this was a few summers ago. But I got the whole car basically painted in one summer. So it was a lot of work, and there were times where I just kind of you know, didn't really do everything 100% correctly that you should do when you're painting a vehicle and thinking, you know, it'll be okay. It should be fine. Yeah, now she's having a few issues. Um, some of the areas I've had to repaint and the clear coat, some of that I don't think I sprayed on correctly. I'll get into all that. But yeah, I will tell you what not to do so you don't do what I did, <laughs> basically. But it's still, I mean, it still looks cute. It's just a work in progress, and it would be less of that if I would have, you know, done everything correctly. Anywho, well, let's get into it, guys. I hope you enjoy my video, and think outside the bun and paint a car if you want to. I did and it's really fun oh and just one more thing don't paint your car if you're not like a, somewhat of a social person because people will want to talk to you all the time and it's a thing <laughs> so you can't really go out in a painted car without getting attention um yeah so keep that in mind okay let's do this okay so first you need some painter's tape and you're gonna need some kind of drop cloth, um, plastic drop cloth to just protect areas that you don't want getting painted or sprayed or anything. And you're gonna also need sandpaper <laughs> because the first thing you're gonna do is sand all the glossiness off of the paint. Whatever kind of, or whatever color paint you got going on, you gotta sand that off. And just take your time with this because it's an important part. You really need to get a good rough surface. And of course, after you sand it, you need to wipe off all the sand dust. Make sure there's no dust on there. Because after you're done sanding everything really good, you're going to prime it. Here's my daddy -o helping me. We're in my parents' garage right here. And I also suggest you do it in a garage because I had moments where I didn't do it in a garage. So here's the Rust-Oleum primer, and I use this. Of course, my car is black, so I had to use a few different coats of this. So this is the first coat. As you can see, you can still see through it and everything. It's really spotty. I don't really know why it's that spotty, but I forget. But my dad comes along. He's probably telling me, like, hey, you got to, like, spray more evenly because yeah see here he comes my dad's he's painted cars a lot of cars not like this kind of paint job but like a normal paint job so he's showing me like hey spray it so yeah here's my little sketch I did of my idea for the hood so I put that in there I thought it was kind of fun so yeah here's the car hood after it's been primed correctly and I have uh, maybe two or three coats of it on there. My dad helped me. And here's my dad helping me center the yin-yang design. I was kind of worried because I didn't 
like that's one thing I'm not really good at is centering things um and he had his little technique he's doing here to help me make sure that it was right in the center of the hood it's the only area in the whole car I was worried about that so thankful for dad again helping me center the circle so it was right in the middle and here is where I'm gonna start painting yay the fun part for me anyhow <laughs> I just it was, I mean, obviously it took a lot of time. And, you know, that's why I probably, like I said before, half-assed some areas because I had a kind of like a goal in mind and I really wanted to get it done by then. But I could have took longer. So it's really important, I think, that you take longer and get it done right, obviously. And here's my dad, once again, helping. Look at it. He's got this, like, MacGyver <laughs> thing going on to give me light. It's so cute. I love that. I love it. <laughs> he finally gets it fixed up good here. There we go. Now we got it set up. We got my light. So the paint I used was Createx Auto Air paint. It's for um, airbrushing. But you can buy it. It's um, on Amazon and other places. It comes in these little bottles. So this is automotive paint. And I mix that with acrylic paint, as you can see. Any kind of acrylic paint. I mean, I wouldn't buy anything too cheap, but acrylic. And I just show here is one of my little plates I mix paint on. And the clear coat I used was this crystal clear enamel Rust-Oleum clear coat I did two or three coats on every layer that I painted as you can see here I have the start of my yin yang and the outlines of like the sunbursty deal that I paint on the hood so it's like mid process here and here's the finished hood with the yin yang um, all the different colors. I thought it turned out really pretty. I was really excited because it was the first part I did. Here's me and my little boy quest posing. <laughs> and next I do my trunk. And this is part I did in my own driveway, which I would not advise. Another thing I would not advise is painting outside it's just there's too many elements around and things that can get stuck in the paint and it could rain I had a, a little covering but you just never know it's it's never a good idea but I love the way the trunk turned out look how cool it's one of my favorites and here's a wonky little sketch of the fender area that I did and here's the headlights i knew from the beginning one of the main things i actually had planned ahead of time which a lot of this was just kind of winging it i wanted the headlights to be flowers and i wanted the stem of the flower to reach around the fender area which i thought turned out really cute but this is one of the areas i half-assed and i had to redo a lot of it and it's still kind of chipping and the, the let your soul shine quote chipped and I redid that a little bit but I think I'm gonna have to go back and just sand everything the whole fender area down and redo it because it just doesn't want to stick correctly because I don't think I sanded it well enough so yeah very important the sanding and the clear coat I would say very very important but here's the galaxy side which I really like too and like I said I didn't really plan much out I kind of had different things in mind that I liked. I wanted it to be really original and personal to me and things I liked in my style. And that's just what I did. I, I still like um, bugs and other cars that like have maybe one theme and do the whole car in that theme. That's really cute too. There's so many things you could do, you know, and the back, I just got this idea that it would look cool if it were a rainbow of the way it's shaped and everything and I, I do like the way it turned out and I put a little heart on my gas tank just for it to be cute or whatnot and it kind of looks like it's supposed to look like a little patch like a patchwork heart peace sign and now I have one more side left to do 
and I decided to do a peach tree scene with some mushrooms and flowers and the sunset in the background and for the most part all the painting is done except for the roof which I still want to do someday but since you can't really see it I haven't worried too much about it but these rims I really wanted so bad but I could not find them they're really hard to find and I decided why not paint them and hello I don't know why I didn't think about that before but I painted two of them. I still have two more to do, and I thought they turned out really good. Actually, better than what I thought. And there she is, all finished for the most part. She's a work in progress. I still have things to add on, like I said, the roof and the other tires. And I have some interior work to do and some engine work to do. And a lot of things to do <laughs> but that's okay it's all a part of the journey and I'm really glad I decided to paint my bug because I think it turned out pretty cool the front quote by the way is uh, from an Almond Brothers song soul shine some lyrics there and I just love that quote love it here we're gonna show you the Easter eggs so, on the front two fenders, I have my three children's names um, kind of blended in. We got on this side, Zen and Jaden. And then on the other side, we have Quest, who's my little guy. On the back, I have a memorial for my nephew, Cody, as a dragonfly. It says Cody in the middle. And in the peach trees is a memorial for my awesome grandma, Pat. A little kitty cat so I hope you guys enjoyed and y'all have a good one